you will see how I created this graphic settings that has all the uh, screen percentage shadow quality that has high medium and low and ambient occlusion that has medium low and high and screen percentage and anti-aliasing and material quality that has all the uh, trees that are getting affected by the wind and texture quality that's changing the uh, streaming pool and particle quality that's changing the particle count and also what's the most important part is the auto graphics so if we change something if everything set to high but auto graphics is set to unchecked if we set the frame rate to 5 for example nothing will happen because we've already let the system know to not decide for us but let's see if we make sure that the other graphics is checked we are letting the system know that we are letting them to choose for us so for example if our FPS is 10 it's already checking and changing the quality for us graphics quality is reduced due to extreme low frame rate and if you pay close attention the graphics quality is gradually decreasing it's not so obvious not to break the whole game quality so we want the player to have the best performance the best experience possible and not the um, not to heat up their phone so much so the quality is getting reduced it's reduced it's reduced AO is gone screen percentage is lower um, and gradually everything is getting worse and worse just wait and the trees stopped moving if you if you found out and it's still getting decreased the resolution is lower and this is the last step when this happens it means that you are at the lowest quality possible it can't get any worse and then nothing happens afterwards because we're at the worst case scenario our, our phone is hit up so badly that the system that even the system can't do anything for it so means that your your cell phone is not up to the task but what if we only I want I just want to show you something what if we have everything set to low but the material quality which are pretty, pretty obvious are set to and the shadow quality are set to high it's still trying to reduce the performance trees are gone and now the shadow quality will be gone as well in a second shadow quality is worse it's completely gone so let's start the video together hello there we are going to be creating an automated graphics settings for Android in this episode I have a system in place right now if I um, show you exactly what I mean this is exactly no not this one this is exactly what I mean so it's based on event tick it must be based on event tick because we're counting down the um, frames per second and the only way we can achieve that is based on event tick so if you have any other event tick in, in another blueprint you may um, wanna go into that blueprint and set the delta time in a variable or something because you need to get that delta time in real time this is my system right now so every 20 seconds I check the FPS if the FPS is less than 50 seconds then I'm going to do a lower graphics and I'm going to show the player that the uh, graphics been reduced quality is reduced uh, okay <laughs> why is it wrong 
graphics quality is reduced due to due to extreme low frame rate okay so and then I'll show this one and um, make the player know that uh, we've changed the graphic settings for them but I want to have a settings for it so right now I only have if I go to the graphics I only have high medium and low and I don't have any options for auto graphic settings if someone doesn't want it to be activated I don't have the option for it so let's create it first of all uh, I have to go into the BP save uh, I've already created one if you don't know how to do that just create an not an actor just create a blueprint class and type in save uh, you need to uh, create a save game object I already created one, I uh, store all the variables I want in this actor. Um, I need another structure for my graphics, I, I'm using the main graphics integer for uh, my high, medium and low settings, but I need another structure for it, so let's create that. So um, in blueprints, right click, blueprints, structure and let's call it graphics structure let's head into it um, so what I've set in my in my third person character I've set some custom events based on the graphic settings as I told you 0 is low 1 is medium 2 is high and in 0 I just go uh, in full low graphics quality force mode R dot shadow quality equals to 0 mobile ambient occlusion quality 0 screen percentage 80 percent uh, MSA account 4 it should be 2 by the way editor quality level 0 streaming pool size 250 and then some um, visual quality view distance quality shading quality uh, fog quality change this is something I already created myself so I'm just uh, changing the quantity of fog or any other particle effect because we're using a lot of transparency using this uh, I'm just I use it an event dispatcher right right now just added one and um, change it in here in the level blueprint uh, but we're not we're not gonna go into it that and then I have to save the game and this is where I have to change some stuff later on okay so let's start with the low graphics settings what do we have here we need to ask ourselves that so shadow quality is something I want to expose definitely so uh, I have to go into the structure, shadow quality, uh, this should be, this is the first one, yeah, this, this should be an integer and it's called shadow quality. We need another one. What should it be? Okay, ambient occlusion is pretty important, so AO is the next one. AO is the next one. Um, next one, screen percentage, definitely. <laughs> we have to change that. Uh, screen percentage. Okay. What else? MSI account. It's not the game changer though. What's I know? I mean, all of them are definitely important. So why not expose them all, right? So screen percentage, MSA, uh, AA is the next one. AA, AA, um, material quality, material quality 
uh, texture texture quality let's call it texture um, quality uh, in distance quality doesn't matter right? we're not using it much shading quality fog quality change fog quality is important okay particle quality let's call it yeah particle quality particle quality okay okay now that we have something so all, all we have right now in our structure is shadow quality AO screen percentage I mean uh, anti-aliasing material quality texture quality per particle quality okay so we need to go into our hot and we need to add stuff to it let's do that okay pause animation graphics fade and for that I have to I mean it's all getting a little bit complicated to be honest uh, so I don't need it yeah I need it to be collapsed but um, I need some render opacity right now so I able to see what's happening here okay I have a horizontal box but I need uh, something else I need a uh, let's see what do we have here mm, a scroll box that is high, um, it doesn't matter, I need a scroll box that's full of some horizontal boxes. Put this here. Some scroll box. Okay, so now in the graphics, I need a scroll box. Scroll box here um, should do the job. Scroll box on the anchor should be here I should be able to get it over here and then the horizontal box should go inside it okay it's working so inside the horizontal box we have a button for going backwards and a button for going forward I need something else I suppose I need some buttons that have low medium or maybe this is better no this is this is a better setup Okay, another one duplicated. This should be before this. Now before this. And this should be called overall quality. Overall quality. Okay, this is good. This should be here. Let's. This one should go away, and this is what we will have. Overall quality. So we need um, another horizontal box. So this, duplicate, it's called nothing because it's not visible, it should be visible by default, you should be visible by default, and this one should be called, as we've set everything up, shadow quality and uh, ambient occlusion and so on, shadow quality, 
shadow quality um, and then next one we need another one let's see if everything's gonna get really complicated though this is going to be duplicated and then again it should be called ambient occlusion ambient occlusion okay it looks good looks really good mm, and then we need again another one it's going to be called screen percentage screen percentage screen percentage then another one which is going to be called anti-aliasing anti-aliasing okay it's good I like it then another one which is going to be called material quality let's copy and paste it from here uh, material quality and another one which is going to be called texture quality texture quality which is another one particle quality and this is going to be duplicated and this is particle quality okay okay cool so now uh, for the graphics fade instead of this one we need to have the whole scroll box uh, render opacity is um, one by default but the whole scroll box render opacity is going to be um, visibility is going to be collapsed and then this one is going to be zero uh, and then uh, you can create a new animation by this by the way I've created one named it graphics fade and now I'm selecting scroll box a new track scroll box I need the the visibility set visibility visibility where is it visibility from collapse to visible and from here render opacity from 0 to 1 And to get things a little bit in interesting, we can add a transform node as well. So it's a little bit, uh, looks a little bit better. Translation. Yeah, do that. It doesn't do that. And then it comes a little bit lower. Probably no here. And it should go a little bit higher, so we have something like this. Yeah, it's it's cool. So let's try it. I'm our, um when I press the button, graphics button. I am playing the animation, and it should work just like that. So I go to the pause menu click on the graphics and then I have everything here cool <laughs> and everything doesn't work definitely the overall quality works but nothing else works that's cool that's okay actually okay so that's cool next step We should. Hmm. I mean, should we? I mean, that's not for now. We could change the design a little bit, but that's not for now. I just want to fix the. Uh, 
function first. Okay, now um, we need to set stuff. It's gonna uh, be a little bit hard, I suppose. I'm sorry, this is the button. We have another button here which uh, doesn't have any, anything. But we need to set up functions for every button we have. So now we have a button for here, we have a button for this one. So if we press this one, if it's not set to high, it will go to uh, a higher value, like medium or high. Uh, if it's if we press this one, it will go to medium or low. Let's let's see how I did set up this one. Okay, so. Um, what I should do first is um, I should create the custom nodes in third person character first so so I could easily copy and paste everything so medium and high and low graphic settings for um, all the structures I have so first 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 things first shadow quality so, so let's start Let's click custom event shadow quality shadow quality settings. Okay, so now I'll need a switch and int or do I? I do, yeah, I need that. And this will right click promote to a variable, it's called shadow quality selection. Now we need this copy and uh, paste, it's R dot shadow quality. Uh, a space bar and zero and the node is called execute console command and the second one is called uh, it's one and the next one is two okay and now we need some custom events for every one of them as well custom events or we could Instead of using a custom event, we could add, add an input here. Selection. And then integer means that 0 is low, 1 is medium, and 2 is high. Exactly as you see it here. So what about this parameter? Let's worry about that later. Okay, so now I have a selection, I have shadow quality settings and I have everything here. So it should be okay. Um, so let's head back, it's called shadow quality settings. Let he let's head back here and um, like graphics variable this is something that's set up in the beginning so let's copy and paste everything first so we can um, so we're going to use this so it's going to be a high value First of all, we have to cast to a third person character, okay? Then we need to switch based on uh, what we have right now, which in this case shouldn't be this one. So we need to get rid of that. So how can we achieve that? Let's find a reference to that. Control Z, right click, find a reference. Uh, where is it set up? 
Uh, not here, of course. The first setup. Okay, what's this default value? I just want to know that it's definitely in the pre-construct. Yeah, so I have to, um, yeah, I need to do that to, so an, a sequence to make sure everything works pretty well. So now we have to cast load from slot if the uh, save game exists and then if, if it exists uh, the slot, slot name is 1 for me, load from slot, cast to bp save or save um, actor and then it goes into the and then we have to get, uh, it's called, oh I haven't so we've created this structure, right? So we need uh, to go into the save actor and then we need to um, create a uh, variable type called graphics details and the variable type is called graphics structure. And if you go into details, you can see everything. And everything should be set to 2 by default because our default value is 2, and then we'll uh, get lower from that. Okay, so now we need to see if we find any graphics details. And then you will right click split struct pin, and then you'll have everything. Here. and then we have to that's a lot of variables um, okay so promote promote every one of them to a variable that's the only way to do it I'm sorry it's, it's a hard thing to do but we have to do it okay another one another one another one another one okay, texture quality another one and then the last one okay so we are setting these variables up right now and then we have to set the text for them as well okay we need more um or do we we could create a custom event for this um graphics text um, change. Then we could copy and paste everything. We need the selection, right? Selection goes into here, and then target goes into here as well. So we can easily use it as a reference. Sounds simple as that. So on um, graphics, fix text change. Instead of all of this, we can instead use this. Our uh, graphics varies this, and then target is graphics level, and get rid of all of that. It's as simple as that. Okay, now another one. Oh, what happened? Another one for here. Um, selection should be this. Target for shadow quality is the text here. Um, here, this one. So it's called shadow level. Let's call it shadow level 
and it's a variable um, we're getting the shadow level and the target is shadow level okay another one uh, the selection goes here graphics uh, details AO it's called ambient uh, it's called AO level Don't need that AO level, okay. AO level done. Another one selection, uh, graphics details, screen percentage, screen percentage. This is called screen percentage SP compile save. Screen percentage. Okay. It's just to uh, set the text. Nothing fancy. Again, select this, uh, and then it's called AA. Anti-aliasing. Um, AA level. Compile. Save. Uh, AA level, and this is done. With more space selection, it's called material quality. Material quality is called material compile save. It's a variable checked and done. Another one. Selection, uh, it's called texture quality. Texture quality, so texture quality should be here. Texture, Le texture level. Texture level is here and it's done. And then the last one. We're officially getting there. Selection particle quality. Particle quality, it's here. Particle level. Oh, it's a variable, and uh, we can easily get this one out of the way. Okay, now that all the variables are set, all the texts are set, we will get back here. And then um, for this, what is this? Uh, button 4. I need to change the names as well. Button 4 is shadow level. Button 4 is Shadow High Shadow High And uh, it do what it does is that um, I need to automate this It's not gonna work like that Okay, so let's see How can I automate this? First of all, create a custom event Graphics details change um, first of all it should cast to third person character and then we need a selection um, yeah okay we need the selection and selection comes in here uh, comes into this as an um, as an input and then we need to make sure Hmm. We need to. Okay, you know what? Medium graphics settings. I can do a do do something else. I need to set the um, 
details change. This will have another um, high or low. So if it's high, then I don't need this. If it's high, then come here. And if it's low, then go the other way. It's gonna get it a little bit easier. And selection is definitely what we see here. Um, and then this should be here. Uh, it's zero and one and one and target should go again here so we can easily graphics details change let's see graphics details change graphics details change come here um, and then uh, targets. Uh, target is definitely the text. So shadow text is uh, this one going to be changed here. And then selection. Selection. What's the selection? Okay, graphics. Um, so we've changed that here. So it's called shadow um, quality. This one right here, and it's going high. Oof, boy getting pretty complicated I'm sorry for that but creating a game is complicated sometimes and we've done this part we've automated this part completely so now we need to automate this part as well but how can we do that medium graphics settings I did uh, shadow quality settings here I need to automate this part as well somehow so we need to get rid of this part um, but if you pay close attention if it's set to high 0 plus 1 1 plus 2 so we need to make sure that's done in here shadow quality um, set if it's um, less than 2 so it means it's no either branch uh, just a moment so if it's less than two then uh, it will be plus one and com comes in here if it's less than two and that's gonna um, get it done for the automation part in the uh, third person character though we need to create an enum so blueprint enumeration uh, it's called let's call it um, graphics detail select Okay, add enemy enemy. Okay, display name. It's called um, shadow quality. It's the first one, and then we need um, AO AO, and then screen percentage, and then. After the screen percentage, we need uh, AA, Control C, AA, Control V, and then material quality, texture quality, particle quality. Okay, and it's let's save everything. Um, so now we need to get that enum 
from here in the uh, heart. Uh, here. So let's add a variable graphics in um it should be graphics something graphics detail select uh, compile save and then we should be able to set it before that or yeah before this part it's called shadow quality and then um, shadow quality okay and then in here we should uh, be having in a third person character in shadow quality settings we need to call another custom event graphics details change and then in the input we need to have a graphics detail select um, category selection is what it's called and then we need to select based on to switch based on that switch based on that okay this is what we should do um so now we have this part but how do we do the selection part okay shadow quality goes in here Let's get rid of this one. So hot um, shadow quality. This goes in here. We will after that say graphics detail change, and the category selection is shadow quality definitely. Now, category selection is this. Yeah, we've already done it. So, we should just be able to do that. Simple as that. And then this comes here, this comes there. And then in here, we have the. Okay, everything looks good. And then we can just input the selection here as well. It's nothing too fancy. Uh, we have the selection. We'll just add the. Okay. I need an input here, which is called an integer, and it's called selection. And this selection goes in here. Yes. That's done. Yay. Okay. So now that's done, let's move to the next part, which is the low value. low okay this one so it's called shadow low so low and uh, it should be unpressed let's copy and paste everything uh, it will change the shadow quality it's not going to be high and then if it's less than two Yeah, we need to get some inspiration from here. Okay, so if it's 
going to be lower uh, it will get minus one so if it's greater than zero it will be deducted by a one by a minus one and if it's greater than zero so mean it means if it's less than zero no it doesn't look uh, it's not the same if it's greater than zero then it will be deducted by one and then um, everything's cool it should be and we'll come here and then everything should work so let's test it because if it works then we're golden <laughs> to be honest so I need some shadow to see if it works uh, shadow quality okay the buttons are not where they should be that's a pretty weird thing to happen <laughs> Okay, that's that's pretty messed up. Okay, so we press on pressed. It's going to get higher, um, and it will change the text of what we need to medium and high. Oh, we didn't. We didn't set the low. Yeah, well, I messed up there, which is fine. Um, so this goes here, this goes here, a selection. We need the selection as well. Why did I, I mess a lot up? So this goes here, and then um, about that, we need this low and medium in one and two. Medium in one and two. In one and two, and then the uh, target should be this. So now it should work. So let, let's first see if the um, if everything works just fine. So text inside it, the button should be there. Yeah, the button should be there. So let's see. Okay. It gives me something at least. Huh, okay. It's doing something, but it's not what I need. Okay, cool. Okay, it's got something with the selection part of it. So if we are pressing the high, we need that. Oh yeah, of course. We need that this one should be plus one. Mm. So let's select. And um, now, so I mean, the whole logic is pretty messed up. 
so now we have a something that's default is not correct <laughs> graphics bear shadow quality should be two AO should be two screen percentage should be two AA should be two material quality should be two texture quality should be two particle quality should be two and graphics in on is okay If it's set to high, this looks just fine. Um, so it means that if it's zero put one into it so maybe I should do the same yeah that makes more sense so selection here selection should be um, one and this should be two category and target should be the same and selection should be two and the same goes here as well so target here and um, category selection this one and selection should be zero and one and this should be deleted okay ah yeah it works just fine it works pretty well okay so if I now I change the texture quality the shadow quality and it stays the same it means that it's working perfectly nothing to worry about so now if I just resume and come back to the game it should stay the same which isn't because I'm not saving it I should save it as well that's the part I forgot Okay, so now I should save, um, which I will here though, save game, I should save it after each part. Um, save, 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 and then I have to save everything. details uh, I'm saving it so I'm setting the graphics details which has a lot of details inside it so it should come in about here and um, the okay Yeah, I need to again promote a variable. Promote to a variable. Promote to a variable. Promote to a variable. Promote to a variable. Right click promote to a variable. Here and promote the last one into a variable. Now I have to make sure that I ha uh, I am setting the variable correctly correctly as well. So it's called sh details shadow quality. Hmm. 
details, shadow, quality. So it's this one. Nah. Uh, details, shadow, quality, set. And selection should be this. Okay, let's see. And it's saving the game, which is... So now I'm changing the graphics, set it to low to make it really obvious. And now, um, the shadow quality is set to low, which is pretty cool, but the shadow is not set to low again, which is not cool at all. And that's because we have a load game set up here that um, begin graphics change. Mm. I guess we have to get rid of the overall quality hmm. if we want something to be automated we don't need the overall quality or we should have a custom which I don't like so hmm, let's instead of doing this because I'm I have a begin graphics change and I'm calling it in my begin play. This is why it's getting changed. Uh, which is okay. But I don't like it to be here. I like it to be... Uh, to... I want to have a sequence node to make sure that I'm setting up everything correctly and um, so I have to change this a little bit so I have this and graphics details shadow quality will come here with the selection of shadow quality this shadow quality is not getting overwritten here but it should so when I'm loading the game does save game exist if it does it loads the game if it doesn't create a save game um, and in the last part of the saving the game, I just have to use the save game to slot node. But right now, for um, loading it, I need a graphics details to set up everything. And the way I did it here, I have to do it here manually again. So it tells shadow quality set. Tells shadow quality. A O set set screen percentage set set AA set set and the next one is material quality set set texture quality set particle quality set and then we have to 
do it like this and now it should be working just fine yeah it worked okay now we don't have any shadows so if we change it to high and then resume open we have shadows so everything is working finally okay so now now no, no, we need this we need to change this later on as well as much as I don't like to change it I have to so next one ambient occlusion ambient occlusion is this so I'm just going to set everything up um, so we don't have to do it step by step because the system works with the bug did so now we don't need to test everything every step we'll handle everything and then we'll um, test everything in the final steps um, no I'm sorry yeah no it's, it's okay so I need a switch on end for the ambient occlusion this one comes here the selection though uh, is here I need the I need to set the ambient occlusion as well so set it here and uh, okay uh, ambient occlusion 0 1 and 2 and then a save game here to get things wrapped up okay this is gonna be mental so ambient occlusion is done next one screen percentage screen percentage with we have screen percentages of 80 for low, 90 for medium, and 110 for high. Screen percentage, screen percentage. So we need to set the variable for it first. The selection will be this and this, and then this comes here. Like this, like that, and like this then a save game to get things wrapped up again okay next up is AA MSAA we need that um, we'll copy and paste everything here we need a switch on end we need the AA variable selection comes here and AA comes here selection comes here AA goes into this place uh, like this like that and like so next one is we did the AA material quality oh save game I forgot that save game okay material quality that is copied now we've pasted it here like that and uh, we need a switch on int we need to set the variable for it um, and selection comes in here selection goes in there material quality comes here uh, comes there and this is that and then another save game to get things wrapped up okay um, material texture quality so texture pool size is pretty important 250 is pretty low 750 is medium for um, Android cell phones 1 500 is um, for high-end phones it means that the cell phone has at least 6 gigabytes of RAM We need to switch on int again. Select 
uh, we need the texture quality setup and the selection goes into the selection uh, texture quality comes in here no, I missed it and this comes in here comes in here, this comes in here okay and the last one is particle quality which has two settings and a switch on int for this uh, selection goes in here and the particles quality I need to start from here and then go down because I will miss it okay and then this comes in here this goes in there oh well so we need to have a save game for this one as well we need to make sure that everything's set up uh, and saved up So now let's um, create the next one, Ambient Occlusion. Um, the bot button of Ambient Occlusion is called AO High and unpressed. So now this is Shadow Low AO High. We should have the shadow high here copy and paste it um, shadow quality should be AO um, selection should be instead of details shadow quality details AO uh, hold control and drag this one here and yeah we should set the AO as well set AO and this goes in here if it's true this one goes in here and um, now AO low which is this one so type in AO low Uh, and we should copy and paste the low value for the shadow because low is a little bit different um, this one should be AO um, control C control V the graphics details L, AO uh, and then this one comes here um, graphics details AO will be coming here and co hold control and get rid of this one okay AO is complete now let's go to the next one which is screen percentage high speed high and speed high is spread um, what is it called unpressed and just control C control V from a high value because this is high um, and this is screen percentage and the uh, variables should be screen percentage get screen percentage uh, get rid of this one and you need to set the uh, detail screen percentage as well so control um, control and get rid of this one um, I think okay so screen percentage high okay now on uh, screen percentage low and um, control C control V from a low value because this is low 
uh, this one's screen percentage uh, control con control C control V from the detail screen percentage value and then um, uh, we need to set screen percentage as well uh, and get rid of this one this is screen percentage it's not high and okay next one is uh, anti-aliasing it's called I didn't change the um, this one should be screen percentage low uh, anti-aliasing should be AA high and the next one should be AA low okay now on pressed for this we need a high value uh, and this is going to be uh, this is AA and AA details AA get rid of that details AA set and they will go into the uh, graphics details AA and this is the AA high what about the AA low this is the AA low unpressed find a low function and AA and um, graphics details AA, just copy and paste it and graphics um, set graphics details AA, copy and paste it hold control and get rid of this one so it's not high, it's AA, AA is done the next one is material quality um, so type in material high We need to set a high function. It's material quality. Uh, the variable is material quality. Get um, delete the uh, the old one, and then material quality set um, and get rid of the old one. This is high. It's material quality. Okay. Uh, although the lowest one material low oh, it's a variable and unpressed um, just get a low function okay material quality material quality graphics it tells material quality control C control V this comes here um, and then this uh, set variable comes here and now you should get rid of the old one it's not high uh, and it's set to material quality okay next one uh, material high what's that okay texture quality texture Hi, okay. This is texture low. Okay, texture high should be that, and texture low. Okay. Um, control C and Control V. A high function. You see texture quality. So the variable will be texture quality as well. Texture quality set, texture quality, texture quality. Um, okay, everything's okay. What about the low one? Um, the low function, it's called texture quality. Um, we should copy and paste the texture quality variable, and uh, it's not high. And we should copy and paste this one as well. Okay, compile save. 
Uh, the next one is um, particle quality. It's the last one. Yay! Particle high and particle low. Um, this one goes unpressed. And this one, let's put an unpressed function for it. Okay, high, control C, control V, particle quality, particle quality is coming here. Okay, and then we should set it here as well. So it's um, and then for the low function, we will choose particle quality. Um, get the particle quality here. Hold Control, drag the whole nodes here, and we should be able to be done. Or at least we hope so to be done. Hmm. This should work just fine. Yeah, let's let's see. Let's see if it works. Okay, so graphics, shadow quality is working. We already knew that. Ambient occlusion is not low. Ah, that's super cool. So they work, <laughs> but they work. <laughs> that's super cool. That is super cool. Okay, so all of them are changing the text for the sh uh, for the shadow quality, which is fine. Okay, so now what did I do wrong? I didn't choose the target. Yes, I didn't. All of them are set to shadow level, shadow level, shadow level. Okay, AI high. Ambient occlusion, uh, AI level, AI okay. AI, uh, AO level. Uh, comes here. Uh, this is yes, AO level again. And um, screen percentage. Speed level, where is it? I don't see it. Speed level. Okay, get speed level. Speed level comes in here as well. AA level, which I don't see. AA -A level. AA level comes in here. And gets copied and pasted in here. Okay. Now, material. Let's type it here. Material level. Um, and material level. And afterwards, texture. Texture level is here. Texture level comes in here as well. Now this is the particle. level and particle level okay let's see uh, 
Okay, that's cool. So I know that material quality low does something, so yeah it works. So the trees aren't moving, the wind isn't working, but if uh, I can't remember, yeah the uh, now the trees have some wind blowing around them. Uh, what about the screen percentage? I guess it doesn't work in this mode. Oh it does, or, or it doesn't. Hmm. Uh, oh, it does, it does work. That's cool, that's super cool. So, texture quality and particle quality are low. Let's see if it save game works as well. Oh, it does, it does work. That's really cool. Okay, so now I just gotta get rid of the overall quality. Oh, I need another one. You know what? I need uh, the so instead of Overall quality, I need a checkbox for auto graphics or what should we call it? So, overall quality should be. Automatically adjust, automatically adjust. It's super big. So, auto graphics should be okay. Um, and I don't need this. I just gotta get rid of it. I'm sorry, but I have to. Uh, I don't need this as well. Okay. So now I have nothing that I'm worrying about. So I can just get rid of everything in here. This is the horizontal box. This is what I need. This is what I don't need, this is what I don't need, I don't need, I don't need, and I don't need. Okay, now, uh, I need a checkbox. Checkbox in this horizontal box, and um, checkbox for is... Feel, uh, it's pretty... Size is pretty small, so maybe something like that uh, for the unchecked image. Yeah, that's cool. That's so cool. Unchecked press image uh, should be 50, 50. Um, checked image should be 50, 50. Checked press image. We don't need to change the ho uh, hovered image because we're working on mobile and they can only press it, they can't hover over it. Undetermined, I, I won't have an undetermined. Okay. I don't need that, but I will use this part for the. Ah, what? Again? Yeah, well, I have to create all of that from scratch, unfortunately. This as well. Okay. Auto graphics. Okay, so uh, unchecked state changed. Auto check box is what we should call it. So when we change the um, 
state there will be things that will happen that will include uh, a new variable in the graphic structure called auto check which is a boolean and uh, I guess we should we will have this uh, automatically okay it's on by default this is what I want and what else so we have to save it here as well so in save game we need to save this as well but how can we change the variable in here we should do that every time we change something okay uh, the default value is definitely um, true um, I'm checking the event tick here that so so I should do something event construct and I should call third person character Or should I? I shouldn't. Okay. Um, so in the event pre-construct, you should come in here in the auto check, promote to variable, uh, and then this variable will be set in here. Okay. Then we need to change the, um, we don't need to change the text, we need something more custom, which is just um, the state of it. So this, the main state is checked. The main state is checked, and we should be able to uh, check state set checked state to um, whatever that is. Okay, so we should select. So false is unchecked, true is checked. Mm, okay, now we know that we are not loading it, we should be loading it as well. Or should we? Ah, there is no harm in loading it. Set in the... Um, in here. So we are loading it as well. We are saving it here. We are making sure that we are setting the in the event pre, event pre construct. We are setting the variable so we can use this variable in our advantage here. So coming here, we should be able to just get this variable use a branch and um, if it's true then you can go ahead and do the everything you want if it's not it's just for debug to see if I uh, if I'm doing it check I know I know just give me a moment. So, this is the auto graphics we're working on, by the way, if you're, I mean, I know it's all 
so it can get a little bit complicated but just bear with me a little bit so auto checkbox if what if we check it if it's checked we need to change it in the I mean we do do we need to change it here hmm so I believe I have to do something in here okay so I have to load and I have to save everything inside here because this is pretty custom and um, okay and all of them are having their related variables so I have to go ahead and make sure every one of them are fixed not to break things so this is for the shadow quality uh, AO screen percentage AA material quality texture quality particle quality and auto check or I can just go ahead and save it don't need to do that. Yeah. Graphics details also check and then save game. That's pretty much it. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> so third person character get player character. Um and then it's called graphics details auto check. Graphics details auto check. Uh, auto check. Graphics details auto check. And this goes in here. Also, we should change this as well. This goes in here as well. And then we should save game. Ah, it's as simple as that. Yay. It should work just fine now. Let's see. So now it, since it's, yes, it's checking, uh, if you pay attention here, it's checking, but what if we, oh, okay, I should fix all the, <laughs> okay, it's, it shouldn't be checking right now, so let's see, it's still checking, that's cool, right? Or is it? It's not checking anymore. That's cool. It worked. Okay, what about now? Okay, it's, it's working. That's that's awesome. So it's right now. It's checking the performance. It's checking the. Um, we could make sure that this one, this piece of code is working. So I'm just using the delta ta delta time um, div uh, divide one by it, and then it truncate to a variable called FPS, which so can just right click promote to variable. Then if it's less than 15 or probably 20, you know, 15 is fine. Um, we should be able to change the graphics quality. So we're already playing the animation, as I told you, I've created the animation here, this, not that I can't see, uh, this one, this animation is reduced due to extreme low frame rate, but now I want to gradually um, lower the quality, so starting off with something like uh, something that's not so visible like texture quality um, uh, then 
gradually get it a little bit heavier to something like shadow quality or uh, material quality to uh, make sure that the wind is not blowing and so forth and so on um, so let's create that I believe the best way to do it is to create another variable so it's time to actually implement the um, auto change for the graphics settings um, the best solution I've come up with I've thought about it a lot I've researched a little bit and the best solution I've come up with is um, doing it using an integer so in our graphic structure we will add another variable called and it's an integer called graphics change okay uh, and now we have it in if we compile it we have it in here so what does it actually mean it means that we have one two three four five six seven multiply it by three because we have low medium and high um, and get 21 so we need to make sure the if all of them are set to high by default we need to make sure that the less control yeah all of them are set to high so It will, we won't have anything under one then so this means that all of them are set to high if this goes down to 20 it means that particle quality is 1 if this goes down to 19 particle quality is 0 and then we'll go afterwards to texture quality actually we need 20 so if this goes down 1 um, particle quality gets 1, 18 means that particle quality is 0, 17 means that texture quality is 1 <coughs> um, and so on and so forth so let's go ahead and do that let's start with the particle quality yeah because it's the less obvious one or maybe we could make sure the AA is here then um, AO is pretty important so if AO can come here and texture quality, material quality, screen percentage are the most obvious ones AO is pretty obvious of course but it's the one that makes so much difference maybe we should put it after text quality okay so now if we compile we have AA part of quality text quality and so on so let's start with the AA we need to go ahead in our hot blueprint and come up with a custom event custom event Auto graphics change. Okay. So every time the frame rate is less than 15, this um, event will be called. We're only <coughs> decreasing the graphics quality, we're not increasing it. So if the frame rate is more than 30, more than 60, more than anything, we're not touching it. That's not what we do. If the player wants to do that, they can do it in, in the options menu. The only thing we do here is that make sure that the frame rate is stable and if the frame rate is too low then we'll decrease the uh, graphics quality to try to maintain a uh, stable frame rate. So AA, let's start with it AA. So let's go in the AA section to see what we got. AA low. Uh, first of all, I have to make sure that this one's getting saved, graphics change, and loaded properly because that's pretty important. Uh, so promote it to a variable in the um, load section. 
and you have it here as well we need to make sure that we are setting the variable correctly as well grab it uh, okay we're setting the variable as well and we need to load this variable and save it as well I suppose or do we so we changed everything like this we could probably um, no let's not do that let's not go that way it will save it eventually we just need to save the uh, this variable if we're changing anything so every time we change something I believe it's not the best way to do it we'll have problems here so I was completely wrong What if instead we'll check if the which we're trying to change the AA first, right? What if instead we'll check if the AA is 2, 1, or 0, then we'll change it. That makes more sense. So let's first of all check the AA. Because um, this is getting taken care of, right? Yes, it is in the pre-construct. So AA is getting written here. And also, we need to promote this. I mean, I don't know if we're going to use it though. So AA, if it's um, greater than zero if it's not zero if it's zero then we can't do anything about it if it's greater than zero then we can um, lower it a little bit so how can we do that we have a we can easily go ahead and uh, create a, a a low create a custom event for it so type it a a low custom that's it a a low custom and it will make sure everything is working just fine so let's go ahead and make sure all the um, lows have proper custom events right now so shadow low shadow low custom is the custom event for this one Awesome. Um, AO low custom is the custom event for this one. Um, custom event SP low custom is the custom event for screen percentage of the AA. So now material low custom material low custom uh, is the custom event for material low and then texture low custom texture low custom and this one goes in here and the particle low custom uh, particle low custom Okay, so now that we have all the custom events, we can easily do it here. If the AA details is more than zero, um, then we can 
just do a low AA custom. If not, we need to check something else. So what was the ne next one? The next one is particle quality. Or maybe texture quality. Yeah, texture quality is less noticeable, I suppose. Or is it? Now let's go ahead with particle quality. Particle quality is always really really effective because we have a lot of particles in the scene and as I told you we have a lot of fogs and the quantity is being changed based on that um, so it's something that's really effective so particle quality is changing here particle quality so details particle quality if it's greater than zero copy and paste this as well if it's still greater than zero then do a branch yes and do a particle low custom if it's still not working if it's still getting false then we will go to the next one. The next one is AA particle texture quality. So uh, I could just type in texture instead. Details texture quality get and um, copy and paste this part. If it's more than zero, then this one should get uh, true. Texture low custom. If it's still not finding anything then we'll go to the next one next one is AO so type in AO here graphics details AO I thought there was something else some bug that could happen in the future and we'll have to fix it after this AO low custom okay if it's still not working what's the next step material quality copy and paste it comes here material quality ah don't double click on it and if it's true material low it should get true on until it's either one or two so it's still greater than zero but if it's zero this one give, um, gives false which is what we want so screen percentage and shadow quality SP is it what it's called no Screen percentage, yes, detail screen percentage. And then copy and paste this part. This one goes into the false. Um, and then speed low, is this what I called it? Yes, it's speed low custom. And then uh, shadow quality shadow quality because it's the most obvious ones and uh, I don't want to make the look of the uh, game really really bad just because the FPS is not worth it um, it will change the FPS a lot sometimes by up to 5 um, FPS but um, let it be the last step it's like the when we are in desperate times shadow low custom okay it should work but what if it's still giving us false so what if everything's um, uh, at the lowest and um, it's still giving us false so we in the best case scenario we shouldn't be able to touch that so this one is okay but instead we shouldn't show this as well so 
what we can do right now is so let's start with this auto graphics change I should type it here auto graphics change and I should be able to have a variable which is or do I need a variable so this one works right now we're, we will only face this problem and this error will happen every 5 seconds or every 20 seconds or whatever we don't want it to happen if everything's set at the lowest possible so how we sh how should we prevent that we have two options we could either yeah let's let's do it the old school way so this one is the animation we're not doing the animation here instead we're doing it here and if something happens the animation gets played simple as that and that should do the trick we don't need to do anything in here so instead we did everything backwards and this should work just fine and um yeah 15 is okay so i have it i have something here max fps is what it's called i need to copy and paste it because i need to test it in the game so let's test so now it's checking every five seconds and nothing's happening because my fps is fine actually uh, or is it yes it's working i need to fix this why did it happen okay so it should be working now but since the fps is fine it's no problem so what if my max fps is five yes graphics quality is reduced let's see how bad it will be it's reduced it's reduced okay AO is gone now it's reduced again it's reduced again so at this point everything is pretty much gone screen percentage is gone okay it's it's looking good okay shadow quality is completely gone and since everything's at the lowest frame rate possible we're not doing anything else so let's put it to 120 so let's see yes everything's set to low that's cool but why do I not have the other graphics here that's weird but seriously why do I not have it where did it go <laughs> okay everything's set to low um, so let's I would I want to change something so if I want this to be high and the other check should be enabled by default and this is 5 so let's see if it changes yeah it did I did again it should do it one more time did and yes and the graphics right now at the lowest quality possible that's cool that's awesome so everything works just fine but oh it's come back it just wasn't there I need to fix this as well so um, it's unchecked and see if it changes anything five
look at the rain particles they get messed up in this frame rate okay cool it didn't change anything um that's awesome that just wraps everything up and it means that everything works just fine the only thing i have to fix um is the is this one <laughs> this one is just pretty bad i need to fix it somehow so style unchecked hovered image yeah let's fix this size for all of them so this wouldn't happen again image size 50 50 is fine i didn't check this one probably undetermined in an image so let's change that as well press the image it should not happen anymore uh, hover image background image I don't need that I need that okay let's see if it's completely fixed yes it works just fine yay that's awesome um, we could change the design a little bit but you know what I'm I'm fine with this design maybe I could change the color from this a little bit and th that should be all I want to be honest so the style um, bar style the uh, vertical slot image t I should tint it a little bit was it this one? no not this one uh, I, I need the bar that was correct so background image we don't have any background thumb image maybe it's this one yeah it's this uh, maybe a little bit to get it to look the same as this okay and draw it as an image probably uh, let's see if it looks any better should be a box size um, what about the margin let's change that to see if it makes anything better okay it's definitely better so 0.7 0.7 uh, I just want the left and right 0 0.7 0 0.1 and then 0 0.1 or 0 0.8 nah it doesn't look good so 0 0.1 for both are good okay that's okay for me what about the brush? Should we change the opacity or well, let's see if it's any better? Now I like it. Now I, I want it to be there. Okay, that's okay for me. Um, and that's pretty much it. That wraps up the whole video. So we've come so far we've um, done a great thing to be honest a pretty complicated thing and if you're still with me thank you for watching and I wish you a great game to develop if you're doing this for your own game and if you're here just to see how the development of empty space is going I wish you a great time playing the game and I wish you I wish everyone a great weekend because it's a weekend. Um, bye.